What, is it, what does it mean to be representative? There's sort of this descriptive representation notion that we kind of want the members of Congress to look like the population at large, sort of be drawn from the right demographic categories and reflect the people in that way, in a sort of visual mirror-like way. To me, that has some importance, but it's not really what representation is all about. Representation is it's like a little bit mystical of a concept, right? The idea that you sort of make present something that isn't present. There's something, there's something sort of fictional about, about the way it works, but people have to believe that it's a meaningful fiction. And so I do think one of the most important things we can do is, is think about what makes that connection between representatives and their constituents vital. I'm worried that the replacement of all other forms of connection other than partisan connection have been eroding in recent years. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the way representation is mediated only through these very ideological or almost uh, animus driven national parties today, right? It's almost easier for people to just try to define themselves by what they dislike and, and forge a connection with some of their voters because, because of those mutual dislikes. That's not a very healthy basis. I, I do think, again, I think when you actually mix it up with the politicians who managed to get themselves elected to Congress, they have a lot of good instincts. They want, they want to feel representational of their communities in really a deeper sense than that. And, and a lot of them manage it. But yeah, I, I'm very attached to the geographic model of representation. I think that even, even as members of the House have come to represent you know, larger population districts. I, I still think that geographic rootedness is very important. I, I know there are a lot of reformers who think sort of geography is obsolete. I'm, I'm, I'm torn about that. I think I see some advantages in doing that, but I, I fundamentally think that geographically coherent communities that, that feel themselves as organic units and then feel that they have organic interests that their represent, representatives in Congress can articulate for them. I, I think that is a viable model, even in the 21st century.